Live Van Seattle, Mike Fights with Friends. Everybody, please hit that like button or I will tell the police about your illegal grow operation. Make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to double tap that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop a new video or go live like this Saturday for Javante Davis versus Hector Garcia. Now, what we have today to talk about is very serious. Uh, there's been a lot of MMA fighters getting in trouble, a lot of fighters in the news, uh, and domestic abuse seems to be on the rise. Maybe it's all happening at once, but as we know, it's not only fighters. Dana White this week uh, is on video slapping his own wife after she had slapped him, of course, but even he said there was no excuse for it, and uh, I agree. There's no excuse for it. Uh, this... What I'm going to bring you today is very heightened compared to what happened with Dana White and his wife. And uh, it is no laughing matter, uh, honestly. If you don't know who Phil Baroni is, Phil Baroni rose to fame in the early 2000s. Uh, he, they called him the New York Badass. And, I mean, he had uh, muscles on muscles. This guy was so ripped. It was insane. And he fought just his second fight all time in MMA, but he did end up fighting for many organizations, not just the UFC. Uh, he ended up fighting uh, several fights in Pride, uh, then moving on to Elite XC, Strike Force, Bellator, King of the Cage, Rage Cage, and several other promotions. He lost nine of his last 12 bouts, unfortunately, at the end of his career, but he has never had an L like this one. Um, breaking MMA veteran Phil Baroni was arrested and charged with killing his girlfriend at a hotel room in San Pancho, Mexico. Uh, this according originally to a report from Tribuna de la Bahia. Uh, the former UFC fighter reportedly flagged down police and informed them that his girlfriend was unconscious and needed help. When police arrived at the room, the woman was lying naked on the bed, covered in a sheet, and had no vital signs. Never a good sign. Uh, she also had bruises on her face and body, injuries that seemed to indicate some type of assault. Uh, Brony then tells police that while they were smoking marijuana and drinking beer, the woman revealed to him that she had cheated on him. Uh, after hearing this, Brony told her, hey, get in the shower. Th this is according to him. He uh, says, get into the shower and, um, you know, wa wash off the stink or whatever. You know, wash off the high and the, the drunkenness because... I imagine he wanted to talk about this a little more seriously, and I imagine, obviously, he was pretty upset. When she refused to go in the shower, Phil, by his own words, threw her into the shower, uh, causing her to fall and hit her head. Um, obviously bad. Uh, um, then, according to Baroni, he helped her back to the bed, left the room to get her a cigarette and a beer, which she had requested. Well, he's just trying to unsober her. Now he's going to get her another beer. And it's, I'm, I'm not so sure I'm following this here, but, you know, it doesn't appear like he's trying to hide everything. So uh, this is definitely impossible. Upon his return, Baroni claimed to notice the woman was unconscious after laying down next to her. Brony was arrested by state tourist police and is being held by the Municipal Court of Valley de Banderas, according to the report. Brony is under investigation for homicide and an autopsy will be conducted to determine the woman's cause of death. Uh, a native of Long Island, New York, Brony has competed professionally in MMA. Uh, in September of 2019, he just fought this last year. Um, he did lose. His last win was in 2018. Uh, that after, uh, you know, temporarily basically retiring uh, from MMA uh, in 2014. And I think he had several retirements uh, along the way. I think it's safe to say that this will be the last retirement. I, I don't imagine we're going to see him in a cage again. And it looks like there's a good chance that he's probably going to be in, in one of these, in one of these prison cells. And it's an unfortunate situation, of course, for everybody. Um, our condolences from Fights of Friends go out to 
you know, the family of his girlfriend and everyone involved in this. This is just it's a horrible situation. It's a, it's a black eye for the MMA community. And, uh, you know, we didn't need any more black eyes right now. Uh, like I mentioned, we have the Dana White situation. Um, this obviously is going to kind of overshadow that. I don't know if that means that, you know, Dana is going to be out of the heat a little bit. I wouldn't take him out of the heat. I think that he should probably suspend himself uh, for a significant amount of time or whatever he would consider fair for one of his fighters. I, I kind of doubt that we'll see that, but... What do you guys think about the Phil Baroni situation? Uh, we all believe in innocent until proven guilty, but uh, it seems that even if we believe him completely on his word, you're looking at probably a minimum of second degree manslaughter. So, I mean, just a, a, a horrific scene in Mexico. And, you know, I don't know exactly what their courts are like and you know, how likely he is to get a fair trial or how likely his ex-girlfriend is to get justice. Um, I just don't know enough about the Mexican uh, court systems. I, I know I have heard plenty of stories and rumors throughout my life of, you know, that the police and courts are pretty easily bought off here. But generally when I've heard that, that's for things, you know, like speeding and uh, kind of trivial things. I, I've never heard of anyone buying their way out of a murder charge. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Do you completely believe, Phil? Do you think it was, you know, hey, this was just an accident and, you know, he was shocked that he'd found out that she had cheated on him? Let's not forget, there's no proof that she cheated on him. The only thing we have is Phil Baroni's word as to why he was upset. I'm not saying he's lying. I'm not saying she cheated on him. Uh, we just don't have enough information to go forward. And the only story we're probably ever going to get is from Phil, Phil Baroni. And that is a shame. Uh, I do want to take this moment uh, to mention, guys, we don't hit women. We just don't hit women. That's... That's my opinion. I believe that that should be everyone's opinion. Um, I very rarely push an opinion like that, but I would just like to take this time to say, guys, you know, before you escalate things, and women, uh, you know, it was Dana White's wife that slapped him first. If you're a woman, don't hit your man. Don't hit him. Don't, don't escalate him. At the same time, guys, you, you just cannot lay your hands on a woman. Please think about it. If, you, if, if you're that upset that, you know, it's, it's getting to fisticuffs or if it's, it's just getting escalating to screaming and yelling, guys, take a walk. Go, go to the restroom. Go read a book. Uh, go in a car. And I know there's, you know, some of these women, they're in the heat of the moment. They want to talk to you. They want to talk to you right now. They want to talk about it right now. They don't want to let you get going. Guys, Go walk into the bathroom. Walk into the bathroom. Lock the door. Um, you know, sit in there. Go take, you know, maybe take a shower or something. You got to avoid this situation because we cannot go around hitting women. We're much bigger. We're much stronger. And something, unfortunately, like this could happen. And that's the rest of your life. This could be the rest of Phil Baroni's life. And... Uh, Worse of all, uh, you know, his girlfriend's no longer with us. And I'm sure that you're not upset enough in a moment that, you know, you wish that kind of harm on your significant other. Um, if you do, immediately uh, let them out of this relationship. Get out of this relationship because obviously yeah, that's toxic for you and them and everyone around them. But I'd like to get your thoughts on this, guys, about the, the escalating domestic violence uh, in MMA, in, in sports, and just this whole Phil Baroni situation. As always, I love you, I respect you, and I'll see your fine asses next time.